Hi, welcome back to educator.com. This lesson is going to give some tips on how to make your WordPress blog optimized so that search engines can find it and um, actually you're going to be wanting users to be finding your blog through search engines more than that. Um, it's called SEO, Search Engine Optimization, um, and this is actually one of the last things that you'll really want to put a lot of uh, energy and time into because the most important thing for getting your blog out there is actually going to be the value of your blog, uh, and that people find it interesting enough that they're actually going to want to read it regardless of how much effort you put into the search engines finding it. And then next is that it's valuable enough that they're going to share it with other people and spread the word for you so that you don't have to do it. Um, and this is kind of what social networking is all about, th sites like Facebook. Um, but that being said, if your website is not findable by search engines like Google, it's going to make your website uh, and your blog uh, less accessible for people who maybe have just heard about it and want to find it. Um, and it's going to make it hard for people to discover it who don't already have some close connection through some social network. Um, somebody who's a friend of yours who's a friend who linked it to a friend who linked it to them. Um, so you need to have uh, some search engine optimization in mind when creating your website. So as I already said, the most important thing for uh, search engine optimization is actually value. You want to create a blog or a website that actually is valuable to the people that are using it. Um, this means that if your website is just spam, it's going to be really difficult to get people to use your site because they won't want to. And uh, search engines like Google actually have put a lot of effort into designing their search engine algorithms to only give links um, and search results um, for valuable websites that people want to be at. And they put a lot of effort into making spammy websites disappear. <laughs> so this is actually the number one thing for search engine optimization is have a website that's valuable to your users. Um, so that's where a lot of uh, attention for um, statistics and things like that go in because you're going to look at what your users are doing and kind of see what things they're interested in and provide more of that kind of content and what sort of things make pe people just don't find interest. So this this is our little example blog. Um, so far it's only got two posts. They actually just happen to both be about wall cats. So um, I guess this is a wall cat blog. Um, so let's just think about if a search engine did want to find this. If, if I didn't know the URL here, um, which is kind of a weird URL because it's a subdomain of my domain. It's not even a real domain. Um, but I wanted to find it on the internet. I would probably just go to google.com and I would search for it. Now what search terms are going to get me to this website? At this point there's not even much going on here. I've got the name of the blog up here which is just my domain, that's not going to get us to it. You could do a search for something like this, Lolcat Image Gallery, but um, or snakes, but it should be really obvious that these are very, very common words, and there's about 709,000 results that have both the word Lolcat and snakes in them. And this is actually a live site right now. It's been up for a couple of weeks, so it should be indexed. Um, however, I would bet that even if I went through several thousand of these, this site would not show up in the Google rankings. It, it's definitely not going to show up on the first page, it's, and it would show up very, very late in Google rankings, if at all, because the site is not search engine optimized yet. So this is the main goal of search engine optimization, is to make it so that when people are trying to find your website, not when they're trying to find somebody else's website, not when they're looking for something else, you're not trying to trick them into finding your website, but when they are looking for your website, they, that your WordPress will show up near the top. So actually one of the most important things um, for that is links. Google uh, searches the web through links. So it'll find uh, a website and then follow all the links on that and then find all the links on those websites and follow all the links on those. It's called a, a spider or a crawler and they're crawling all the time. Um, so it's very important that you have websites that link to you and also it's important that you link to websites. Um, so let's go into the settings area here. Um, one easy way to generate links is through uh, trackbacks and pingbacks. So this is a post. And if you scroll down here, we've got discussion, allow comments, and then allow trackbacks and pingbacks. 
Um, and what these do is um, if you link to another blog or another site that, that, that has trackbacks or pingbacks, it'll send them a little notification and then they can choose to either link back or just um, be aware of your site and they may visit your site um, and they may, when they're using their blogs, use trackbacks and pingbacks and link to you if they're uh, interested in what you're doing as well, um, which goes back to value, value being important. You, if you have a valuable website, people will link to you. Um, so this is sort of trackbacks and pingbacks. It's kind of a, a trade-off. You, you link to them, they link to you, um, and it also just gets your name out. Um, and if you have a valuable website, people may link to you just on their own. Um, so that's one type of link is external sites linking in. It's probably the most important. You want people to be linking into your site. Another important thing 